All right, guys. Today we're looking at a book of a hero who uh, people in the neighborhood had said he's sensational, that he's uh, amazing, uh, that he's the ultimate. Uh, you know, some even call him astonishing. Uh, you know, we could argue about this all the way till 2099, but today we're looking at The Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 1 that just came out. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are excited about this. I am too. I'm wearing my Spider-Man shirt, even though it says amazing. That's okay. We're looking at the spectacular Spider-Man. So we have the two, uh, the standard and the DM here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to say standard DM. No, other way. Backward. So this is the standard, and this has tarantula in the cover. So let me show you that real quick. Front, the spine, and the back. All right, and then this is the DM. The DM has Moon Knight in the front of it. The spine and the back. And let's show that spine together so you can see. Again, DM standard. Very cool. And let's take a look what it looks like underneath the dust jacket. All right. Spectacular Spider-Man omnibus. There we go. Here's the spine and the back. So we'll put it all together for you to see, to enjoy. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into Spectacular Spider-Man Volume 1. guys so let's go ahead and jump into the spectacular spider-man omnibus volume one i uh, like this it's, it gives you the dates of all the different uh, or the stories so we're looking at 1976 all the way till let's take a look 1980 so that's quite a bit of years we're looking at 14 years worth of comics right here so that's interesting you know it's, it's good to know that that's what we're looking at and here we go, let's jump in. So let me give you a little bit more information on what's included in this title. So this one collects the Spectacular Spider-Man number one through 42 and annual number one, as well as the Amazing Spider-Man annual 13 and that Fantastic Four 218. And, you know, it definitely has uh, the Spider-Man, I believe this is the one with the webbing in between? I think so. No, he doesn't. So, you guys let me know, Spectacular Spider-Man, what's the difference between that and, like, the Amazing Spider-Man, the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man? I know there's quite a bit of Spider-Man stories and, and eras, but which one, you know, this one, why is this one so popular, or why do you like it so much? Again, I haven't, I, I haven't read Spider-Man, like, from the beginning. I read, like, Ultimate Spider-Man, I know that stuff. But this Spider-Man, this era, is not something that I'm familiar with. Of course, I'm just showing you guys, but if you guys like it, let me know why. You know, tell me. I definitely like to learn about things and, and, you know, oh, this era was great because of this and that. Let me know. I'm open to all uh, information so that I can grow, not only as a human, but as a comic book fan. And let's see. So let me just give you some more information on this. It looks like 14 years after the debut of Spider-Man in the pages of Amazing Fantasy, the world-famous web singer had grown to a level of popularity his creators never could have predicted. The Amazing Spider-Man had supplanted Fantastic Four as Marvel's flagship title, and the Marvel team-up had been pairing Spidey with the heroes of the Marvel Universe for five years at this point. With a live-action TV show in development, a newspaper strip on the horizon, and merchandising deal popping up all over the licensed marketplace, the late 70s was a moment in time when Spidey stepped onto the limelight and stayed there. So it was then that artist Sal Bushima and a bevy of top Marvel writers united to introduce a third new Spider-Man series to the Marvel Universe. The Spectacular Spider-Man not only expanded storytelling opportunities for every man behind the mask, the every man behind the mask, Peter Parker, but it also provided a platform to expand upon and explore the world of his incomparable supporting cast, most notably J. Jonah Jameson, Mary Jane Watson, Flash Thompson, and a new character's Deb Whitman and Marcy Kane. So that's really cool. You get to see that start of the third series of the Spider-Man series, you know, the spectacular Spider-Man. So that's really cool. Uh, and let's see, after the inaugural year in which Jerry Conway and Archie Goodwin steered the series, Bill Mantlo began a nearly three-year run as the spectacular writer. With artists Sal Bushima and Jim Mooney by his side, 
Mantlo kept Spidey's web tangled with complex storylines that were fresh and exciting and still managed to keep pace with events happening over in Amazing and Team Up. Mantlo thrilled readers by bringing characters like the White Tiger into the mix, bringing closure to the defunct Los Angeles-based supergroup The Champions, and creating new directions for Moon Knight in one of his earliest appearances. And in debuting the arch-villain Carrion in a seven-part epic, Mandalo teamed with none other than Frank Miller to unveil the legendary, artist's for, the legendary artist's first work, Drawing Daredevil. The spectacular Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 1 collects over three years' worth of the era's finest spider storytelling, beautifully restored from the best sources in Marvel's archive. Very cool. That's really cool information to know. I like reading those for you guys so that you know what's, you know, what it says on the book of the French pl uh, panel so that you can, you know, get more information on what you're getting in this title. All right, and it does have some of the, as you can see here, you know, some of the black and white pages, the original, uh, you know, art covers for it. Very cool. With like the pages and the white out on that, very nice. All right, so let's see what else is included. Let's see, is this some of the covers? Maybe it's just like the ads that we see. The panels, the storyboard panels as they go and then how it comes to life. Oh, very nice. This is the Frank Miller cover. This is a really cool cover. I like that a lot. This one as well. Very cool. Nice. All right. And then an afterwards by Rolf Macchio. And Todd McFarlane cover. And very cool. Another Todd McFarlane cover. And introduction by Frank Miller. All right, guys, there you go. So this is the spectacular Spider-Man, Volume 1, available now at Organic Prize Books. Get your copy while it's available, and I will see you guys in the next one.